it's Jill with Crick Flicks. I just was there to film and I found this black paint or something on my table and I thought, where'd that camp come from? I just remembered that I had used my Nouveau black, like uh, liquid pearl sort of thing um, on a couple, some of my centerpieces and I just stacked them all up, all the pieces that I have done that I have to assemble. And I thought, oh no, that wasn't dry. That stuff takes a long time to dry. But it wasn't. It was just a freak out for no reason. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to be finishing up some some projects that I've already got. Pretty much glittered and ready to go. Um, because I was going to talk about some other things in the meantime. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if this is going to have enough tape in to get me through. So, grab some tape. Um, the boxes are going to be... Uh, the six by six by six boxes with the lid attached that I use. Oops, she's going all the way the, across. Um, going to be using as the bases. Sometimes I use the ones with the removable lid that I get at um, U Line, and other times I buy one that has the lid attached. It just kind of depends on my mood, I guess. I would say I don't know. Um, First thing is I'm going to respond to a couple questions and comments and things that had, had been said. Uh, somebody um, said to me, I needed to, the, the exact way I put it is, girl, you need better lighting. Um, now, I don't know if that was kind of one of those things that, like kids or people talk is, hey, girl, you know, whatever. Whatever it was, uh, I know I need better lighting. And I'm going to ask you if you'd like to come over here and do it. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I know that, uh, I've, I've heard it before about the lighting, but it is what it is until I can get it changed. And unfortunately, um, my husband can't do it right now because he's still recovering and, um, it isn't on my priority list of things that need to be done, so... Thank you for the thank you for your feedback, but it is what it is. One of those things again. But if it makes you go bonkers, don't watch don't watch my channel because my lighting isn't going to change for a while. Uh, thank you for the people that for all the support instead of negative feedback. My choice of not sharing everything that I do and keeping some things secret. This one, the lid. I've got them all covered, and this white that I put on, you're going to go, why did you cover it white if it's already white? You're not going to be able to see it on the camera really well. Maybe if I had better lighting, that's it. That's what he's talking about. That's why I need better lighting. I'll shine a flashlight on it. Anyway, it's got it's got a white glitter texture to it. Um, it almost looks like uh, scales, uh, and, and so I decided to cover it with that, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. I've got to punch a hole in the middle of the top where the peg is going to go and it is six inches across so I need my thing to be three inches and then I have to have good eyeballs to say oh yeah that looks about right and let me see here it'll work um I refer that to a lot uh anyway uh, guys I, I just wish that more people realized I'm not a professional I am just a retired old lady that enjoys doing what I do and filming because most people just enjoy the visiting. I gotta find a peg before this dries, guys. Somebody else made a comment that I need to be prepared before going on camera. Uh, prepared is not part of my, it's not part of me. It's not, I'm never prepared. So, you know, it's kinda hard. I tell my husband all the time, you just can't teach an old dog who tricks. You know, I do this for fun. Not this. this right. I do the filming for fun because most people, I shouldn't say most, a lot of folks really enjoy it. And those that don't, they don't watch. I'm not heartbroken. Okay, I'm gonna, I have this really beautiful ribbon that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. And it's, it's a scallop edge of the ribbon. It's got tool between the scallop and the top. And then it's got these pink bows running through it. And it's all cotton. 
it's really, really pretty. I'm going to use that to go around the center of the box just so the box isn't so plain. Um, let's see. Okay, guys. Good eye. Here we go. We finally got snow that I had been wanting for Christmas, and I don't want it anymore. And it is snowing now. We're supposed to get snow again tonight, and they've got a... Uh, warning uh, 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 we were supposed to go to my granddaughter's cheer competition this weekend and we didn't go we we're going for a couple oh, for the weekend saturday and sunday and they canceled it uh we got a half an inch of snow so i guess they just figured that was just going to be too difficult to drive in it's expensive for you but anyway and, they, and my daughter my granddaughter had a basketball tournament going on and they canceled that you know i guess We've become total, total pansies in Wisconsin because a half of inch of snow has never... So we said, well, maybe it's ice. It's 40 degrees out. I doubt it's the ice. Now, I want to make sure this is really reinforced so at the edges where I started, I am going to hot glue it because I don't want it to peel up. So I'm just dab a hot glue down there. There we go. That first box done, and let's show you what's going to go on this box. Oh, my um, husband's recovering quite well now, uh, but I think he's enjoyed the the uh, catering to his, his every need. That he hasn't re really has not taken back any of. The simplest things to do to do. I said, man, you're really milking this one because he's still got a uh, can't, uh, now he's got a boot on, but he can't, it hurts. Um, they said, they said it's a year for, it's a year, approximately a year for full recovery. And um, I hope that I don't, <laughs> I hope I make it through a year without seriously hurting him. I'm telling you, he has been spending he, um, he had fought about getting an iPhone when he had to switch phones. He said, ah, that's just bad. Why didn't I have an iPhone? Whatever. Well, that was two years ago. And now, since he's had his surgery, he averages 10 to 11 hours a day on his iPhone. So, I think that's ground for kicking butt. Anyway, here is my centerpiece that's going to go on here. This is uh, out of silver glitter paper that I get from... Um, at, uh, accent converters, AC converters, and I get it online. It's, uh, it's not cheap, um, but it's really, really good paper. <clears throat> so I cut out just the silhouette. Then I did the little tool skirts on. I trimmed it off with this, this uh, ribbon here to make it look finished. I put some pearls, and I always peel and glue off pearls across her hair and added a little glitter to it to really make it, to make it stand out. And then I put ballet slippers on, but on her ballet slippers, I forgot to do the strings. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab some pink taffeta and add my strings. These you're probably not going to see, see real good um, on the camera or, or on the film. I'm going to refer to the poor lighting again. Um, but in person, I can see it. When I take pictures, you'll be able to see it. Oh, that cracks me up. Um, you guys, I'm sorry if I'm beating a dead horse. This is not a big deal. I don't really care. Too many other things. My my brother-in-law comes over happier than a goofy goose. Um, pretty much every day. And I hear him talking to everybody. And he's decided, as we get older here, that we need to enjoy every single moment. Went that way. Um... I don't know why that was such a rude awakening for him, but so he just is always about keeping all the negative out of our lives and just enjoy every day. So that's what I decided. That's a, that's a, a good concept. Enjoy every day that you have. Because you don't realize until you get older that... Um, Life isn't a guarantee. 
I just found out today that our nephew, Felipe, that came in the summer, he's been here a couple times now, got accepted. He's in Colorado and was going to go to Colorado State, whatever. And um, he, after he went to Madison, he was so mad because the ones that came all the time were his mother's sister's kids. And he'd never been here because they've got four boys and, and for some reason they just never had been here. And when he came the first time, he said, I can't believe you had all of this here, this family, all these people and everything, and I've never known them. So I think he's been here two or three times now, but he just got accepted to the University of Wisconsin where he's going to go to school, so he's moving here. And he is so excited. Everybody's excited. He, he got super, super, super attached to my son. And um, everybody's ecstatic. We are really happy to have them. Okay, guys. So there's one finished. Oh, I was telling you what I did with her before I went and derailed. Um, no, I didn't. I remember everything I did on her. I redid her shoes. That was all. I did everything on that. Come on. Give me a break. Okay. And I uh, know that all of you are really looking forward to some scrapbooking. If I promise one more time, oh, I just keep saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then yesterday, I was straightening up and doing a little bit of rearranging. Um, my printer went out, broke. I have no idea why, but it was under, um, under warranty, so they sent me a new one. But um, I had to talk with them. I've got to go on there and probably do an extended warranty. One thing I will say, I don't know how, how much I've been promoting the Epson printers because I think the print on them is phenomenal. However, their life stamp span is that of a gnat. I mean, this is my second return on this printer. And um, it was a $1,000 printer. So, needless to say, I made sure the, the guy, when he answered the phone, I wanted to make sure he knew that I wasn't going to be um, accepting anything less than a new one. And I said, why do you guys always send out remands? They went back for a reason. So, that's what they do, the replacement um, for the, the printers. But, he did replace it again, even though some, sometimes they won't do it twice. Somebody had written me and said they wouldn't do it twice for them. So I was all prepared for them to tell me that they would replace it again because it had already been replaced. And not only that, the new ones, um, so or, uh, what's it called? That number, the ID number on it. Um, serial. I was going to call it Social Security, but it's the serial number on it the warranty would start all over again. So that's a good thing. And when, when it comes, it comes with two sets of ink. So I have enough ink to last me three or four years. I'm not, and I'm not exaggerating because it only takes a half a bottle to fill it. And I only fill it about once a year, or twice a year, possibly. Then I use the other half of the bottle. It, it, it it's unbelievable the ink on it. But I can't believe that this is the second time I've had to return or had it break on me. But anyway, I've got to share that with you. Um, what else is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see some trouble. And trouble on the horizon here. And I think that... Oh! It's going to make it one round. Boy, I hope I used that before and that I just didn't spend money on a... How many yards came in here? I'm sure I've had to use it before. I don't know. I can't see it. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, my, I ordered from China my uh, some laces because I was running out. And they came in the other day. And it's so funny because they don't roll it up and put it on anything. They just throw it in the box. I believe that's how they do it. So when it comes to you... It's just in a big ball, and then I have to uh, wrap it, and it's 15 yards, but um, it it's awesome. Um, I'll show you one of them, because I haven't wound it around anything yet. They're really, really nice uh, trims. I haven't even opened that one yet. 
I got a bunch of different colors, but the trims like this that I like that I've gathered already are great for when you're making the little babies, like Divine Digital Diva babies, that you get 15 yards of this. I think anywhere between $6.99 and $9.99, depending on what kind of lace you get. Um, but really really cheap i was gonna get it was the, it's the weekend or the week of, of um, um trims being on sale at hobby lobby this this week 50 percent off but i've decided since those all just came in i'm not going to go and buy any more because i need to use what i have there we go we're gonna have number two here and let me get a base and stick it on here. Uh, another question about the cutting. I keep getting people asking me questions about their Cricut or um, the Cricut. They're having troubles with the Cricut. It's not doing this. I did this and I don't use a Cricut just for, you know, maybe they're looking at something really, really old that would have been from at least four years ago. Um, I don't use a Cricut, so I don't even know the support. Somebody wanted, somebody had asked me if I recommend, which one I would recommend, the Cricut or the Silhouette. Um, I explained the cutting parameters and, and explained everything I could as to why I use the, the Cameo. Um, but somebody the other day had messaged me and, and had bought some software. And it wasn't cutting. Or it was, something was happening. What, what wasn't cutting? I don't remember what it was. Um, and I don't do the software, guys. I buy my files. Most of my files, the majority of them are from Divine Dil Digital Diva because that's the biggest seller of those babies. But that's where I get most of my... I, and I don't troubleshoot somebody else's... I don't troubleshoot. Um, and I don't know how to even explain it, what they're doing or what's going on. And I'm not going to anyway because it's not that's not my job. I should say it's not my job. I don't troubleshoot other people's their files. I don't, she said, "Well, I got it on Etsy." Well, Etsy's got hundreds of stores within Etsy. You have to go back to the where you bought it from, not Etsy. You didn't buy it from Etsy. You bought it from somebody's shop on Etsy. I don't. I'm not Etsy. I'm Crickflex. So if something you got from Etsy doesn't mean isn't pertaining to me. I should only be that big. But anyway, that was another thing I get is a lot of troubleshooting questions on the Cricut and on other people's software. And can't do it guys, can't do it. Looks like I'm having a little bit of an issue here. I like when my pegs set flush with where I dr drill the hole. I don't like it when you can see my pegs when my pieces are all done. There we go. I think I'm going to put that that way. I guess it doesn't really matter. This was, uh, they're all different images. They're all done uh, pretty much the same, the silver silhouettes, but they all have a different finish, uh, decoration, uh, Enhance in embellishment, every one of them is different, and the boxes will all be covered in the white. However, as you just saw, saw, I ran out of that other trim, so I'm gonna have to find a different trim for that. Um, let me first think of if there was anything else that I wanted to mention since I've been out of as usual, and I was out of it. Um, if there was anything else that needed to be known, um, Amy and her gnomes. Uh, are going like wildfire. I've got a bunch of them posted on Etsy. I added them to my shop. Uh, but now she's doing gnomes in sports. She's doing them in holidays. Um, whatever. Uh, she's, she's just doing whatever anybody needs or wants. And she's having a hard time keeping up. So she said today she was going to have to find somebody to take care of uh, the two boys so she could get caught up, um, the baby and, and, and Blakey. And I said, well, 
I'd love to help you out, but I'm as busy as you are. So uh, she had to, to, or has to, she needs to find somebody that can, can help her out. And uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be me. I have no meal full time, and I'm trying to spend my entire weekend working. So, oh, and my husband with the with the um, tables and things, they are finishing up a table now, and then my son is helping him, or he's helping my son. They're kind of working together now. Um, and he's going to be doing a table with the bench. And I'm really excited to see that. And he's almost got finished a cabinet that was made with an old window. It's an antique window and it's, it's rounded at the top. And he made a shelf underneath it. And he did, he made, um, uh, call them chicken wire doors. And the, the colors are white. The window is white and it's mounted on top of the shelf. And the shelf is a really dark ebony stain. And then the chicken wire frame of the door is done uh, in white. It is so cute. And I'm hoping he'll get it done tomorrow. And I will post a picture of that. I'm going to get that posted in the marketplace. But uh, he told me, he said, I hope it doesn't sell. I want it. I have no room for it. I mean, right now I'm trying to figure out what, how to take everything down my Christmas decorations and move things around so I can open up some space running out of space but so that's been going well for my husband and my son now for this one I have another trim that's actually sequins and it's a little bit darker pink I like that that finish though sequins are falling off okay I'm going to be doing a video on something new that I haven't done before and it's so new I can't remember a new technique on something but I don't remember what it is I'll, re I'll remember when I do it and those of you that are listening and thinking I'm making no sense I knew it I knew it I'm losing it but can't help it what happens all part of the process so let's see here and hot glue the end of that again just because I want to make sure they don't fall off and I'm sure you didn't want to sit and watch me put all these boxes together but I can't think of anything that I I know we're working on a bunch of stuff and I can't remember what it is we're going we're, we're going to be doing the printing or the vinyl work and different things like that um i'm started on one that I had done a while back uh to tooth fairy jar but i'm going to do it a little bit different this time and that i probably i got the jar up here and then i ended up filling it up with something anything that sits in The beginning of the end. All right. Can you get everybody? All right, Blake. Ready? Look at hey, T.O.M. Hey, hey, Lynn, on three, say, Kiki's pregnant. Kiki's pregnant. Kiki's pregnant.